19. Viktor Krohn. Lauluga Storm. Stieg Rasta nime näen seal, ja Fred Krieger nime näen seal. Täpselt, täpselt. Kas, nad, kas ta, olete talle juba öelnud näiteks, et sa ei edasi, või ta veel ei tea? Ja tegelikult ei tea Stieg, aga keegi ei tea. Nii, et, et... Mitte keegi ei tea, ma mõtlesin, et ka välisma inimestel äkki ütlesite kuidagi telefonil, ei tea, nad saavad ka tea. Stieg elistab talle. Hey guys, I'm Victor Crown. Uh, I'm 27, 26 years old actually, from Sweden. Walking through the city on a Friday night With my head head low down And the street lights makes my head go around My heart is into pieces from before I'm competing this year with the song Storm. I ended up at SLL because of Stig Resta mainly. Uh, he was, I think, one and a half year ago in Sweden. And we met for a songwriting session. Uh, and then I was here for a gig at the Hilton uh, about a year ago. And he uh, asked me over to the studio, pretty close from here actually. And we've been working since. And we've been writing a lot of songs for, I think, artists in Estonia and such. And then I said, hey man, you should do the Estilal thing. And I said, yeah, man, well, let's do it. So we wrote a song and uh, yeah, now I'm here. A storm like this can break a man like this. And when it all comes down, we'll be safe and sound. All my life I've tried. There's more like stages in the Swedish competition. I came to a thing called Second Chance. Uh, that was a completely different thing. Uh, but uh, well, yeah, I'm very happy with this one. It was kind of a fun story. I haven't told this one to you actually. But uh, as you said, the Eurovision is kind of big in Sweden. And the year when Stig competed with Elena, yeah. the Goodbye, it was his favorite song and mine as well. So we were like uh, actually sharing for you. Okay. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> no, I know. We had like two and a half years getting to know each other. Yeah. But uh, it started up pretty good. Did you tell about he was in Sweden and visiting in Sweden? And we, yeah, you probably said that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it started out pretty good. We wrote maybe 15 songs that aren't finished, <laughs> but, uh, and maybe three finished ones. So a couple of songs. And uh, well, you have to come to Sweden again, actually. I've been, I've been here mm -hmm. like 15, 10 to 15 times, but Stig only came that once when we <laughs> met each other. The Swedish radio is picking it up. Uh, some, a few big stations are starting to play it in Sweden, so it's all the work we put in is getting like yeah, we get. I've been working with music a lot. Those who know me know me, but uh, and the Melody Festival was a big thing, and I had some. I've been like working more with the songwriting the last years, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, un peu, maybe. Now I'm starting to speak French. <laughs> <laughs> Except from two years ago, I didn't know much, but now I'm starting to. I know Tallinn very good uh, by now because I've been yeah I've been here. But I, uh, I'm excited now to go around a bit more. It's going to be fun to see Tartu. Uh, and there's a place, pa Perno, as well. I'm, yeah. I, want, I want to see that. Hiuma. Hiuma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve said, I, I hope just to do a, a good number for you guys and uh, hope to sing it well. And uh, yeah, it's not more than that. It's hope the, the, the meaning of the song gets out there. Can you sign me a signature? What's here? Yeah, it's pretty bad, but it's it's something. Victor, uh, Happy birthday! Do you feel uh, extra luck 
today? Well, I wouldn't jinx it, but uh, I feel good. Like I've been getting a lot of uh, happy birthday wishes from uh, yeah, Sweden and all, all around the world. So I'm very happy, feeling the love today. So you have a very interesting show. Uh, what's the most difficult part for you? Well, it's a new thing for me, like being without the guitar. I'm used to like playing the guitar always and now I have to put that away. So the moves, getting loose in the body. As a former hockey player, I'm a bit stiff. <laughs> It's moving my hands, it's a lot of, lot of struggle for me, so that's the, the hardest point. Are you ready to represent the Sony maybe in Eurovision? Yeah, of course, of course, it would be a dream. Oodatui muusika sündmus. Stieg Rästa kadunud kaksik vendrootsist. Victor Krohn. Preilid, ta on vallaline. Laul nummer 10. Storm. Hi, I'm Victor Crown. I am 26 years old and I'm from Sweden. I live close to uh, the capital in uh, Stockholm, uh, just three miles south in a small uh, town called Österåker. I remember Stig asking me, like, do you want to, we should send this into Estelal. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. It's, I'm like, the Estonians don't want to sweep like in the Estelal. But apparently they did. And now I'm here uh, performing tonight here in Tartu, uh, Storm. It's gonna be fun. All my life I wondered why I keep fighting all the times For a million reasons that I find But I might, I might be all wrong A storm like this Can't break a man like this We can turn it Victor Krone. Krone? And, uh, yeah, that's first right. off, Krone, Krone. Yeah, first off, that, yes. uh, it's your birthday to look at it in first day. That's, I, I don't know. That's right. Uh, Swedish time. one. And, uh, oh, go get a room, man. Yeah. And there's a small yeah. present for you. It's authentic Swedish boxers. <laughs> oh, we can't show the logo because yeah, it's right. uh, national television. But there's yeah. corn, <laughs> there's corn and broccoli and some chili. Traditional yeah. Swedish food. Perfect. I've been here like three weeks, so my underwear Just, is getting. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Take, 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 take them. them yeah. But it's Swedish. Yeah, you oh, take hold it. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Could we now uh, get two reaction shots from you? One is if you get through to the finals. Yes. Let's do that one. If you get the info. This and, one. Yeah. No. That one. All right. And now the other one, just, you know, maybe you don't get through. Aga kes on see kolmas edasi pääseja? Ja selleks on Victor Kroon! Eesti laulu teine poolfinaal, laupäeval kell 19.00, siin samas Tartu Ülikooli spordioones või teie kodus Telekas. Ilusat õhtud teile, Kallis Eesti maa! Hea võõtud! Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Victor, happy birthday to you. Ünne sooni me sul, palju õnne kallis Victor. Victor, how did you like your performance in semi-final? Uh, well, there's some changes I would like to do, uh, of course. Like? No, I'm, I'm, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, pretty glad. Uh, there's some voice uh, things that I, I need to work on, I guess. But uh, I'm prepared for the finals now, so, yeah. Do you feel like Estonians already love you or you're a stranger in our party? No, I feel a lot of love, actually. Like, overwhelming. Like, I've, I've been here a lot in Estonia. Uh, now, after the Estelle thing, I got so much messages and pictures and people dancing and singing. So, it's, uh, I feel a lot of love. 
you're a predictable winner in Est in Eesti Laul. What do you think about that? How do you feel Not about from that? from this list, I guess. <laughs> Not about this list, no. but... Well, am I? Like, yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, of course, that's a nice thing to hear. And uh, I believe we have a good song. And uh, I'm going to do my best. I think it's hard to like before, and I don't want to jinx it, but it um, feels good. Siin Tallinn, Saku Suurhail. Eesti laul 2019 finaal algab nüüd. Laul number 3, Storm. Autorid Steve Rasta, Valla Vikas, Sebastian Estapier ja Fred Krieger. Esitab Victor Krohn. Hey guys, this is Victor Krohn. My song Storm is about getting through a hard time in your life, whether it's depression, love, hate, yeah, whatever you might be going through. Uh, that's what I'm trying to communicate. Eita. Oh my Break a man like this, and when it all comes down, we're still safe and sound. I believe it is time to teach you some new Estonian uh, music business words right. since you have to like um, you know move around Tallinn during the night time oh, so let's start here we go yeah. the Estonian music business uh, vocabulary starts like this Ö-tö. 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 all right Paul Cox Paul Cox Keika Keika Amigo <laughs> Amigo <laughs> Holika Ring Holika Ring great job Victor's got it. Thank you. Paljo edus ole, Victor. Thank you. This is the points from Norway. Here are my points. Eight points goes... Here are my Thank points. You. Uh, without further ado, here are my points. Võistlusel seega järgmine. Kolmas koht. Esimene artist, kes jätkab võistlemist superfinaalis on... Publik, mis te arvate? On Uku Suviste! Stefan! Kas Sissi? Või Victor Krohn? Selles on küsimus. Kolmas superfinalist on... Victor Krohn! Selle on väärn! 
Kärne ja kõrge välja teenitud neljas koht Eesti laulu 2019 võistlusel. Kuulub sissile! Minu kõrval seisab Victor Krohn! Victor, I have an easy but also very hard question for you. Why would Estonian people have to vote for you? Why do you deserve it, Victor? I can't even speak right now. I'm so shaky. I thought it was over. But, uh, uh, oh, I don't even have an answer. But uh, I think we have a good song. And if you give me the chance, I'm going to put Estonia high up in Tel Aviv. I'm not going to give it all. And really, I love you guys. Thanks for voting. Kolmas koht on Stefan! Palju õnne Stefan! Palju õnne Stefan! Eesti laul 2019 võitja! On Viktor Kroon! Teise kohal sai uhku suiste, palju õnne! Palju õnne Viktor! Palju õnne Eesti rahvas! Saates, homme kanuga! Eurovisiooni laluvõistlus toimub Tel Avivis mai kuus. Eesti ja Lohk... Viktor, come here! This is the biggest moment in my life, so big thank you to all of you. Yeah, thanks. Viktor, Viktor rääkis sellest, mis on tähtis. Tal on suurepärane emotsioon ja ta ütleb kõigile teile, kes hääletasite ja kes täna siin olite. Aitäh! I don't have the words because this was such a roller coaster. Well, at first we thought we were out, everyone at the table, it's over. And then all of a sudden they said my name and I was in again and then I just lost it. And uh, yeah, it's the craziest thing I've experienced actually. Did you cry? Yeah, uh, well, inside I guess, yeah, I've actually, yeah. I don't know where I am right now, actually. <laughs> this whole experience has been overwhelming actually. All from the semi-finals when I, they sang happy birthday to me and uh, I'm just uh, very humble and thankful for this opportunity. I don't know really what to feel right now. It's been a roller coaster, so I can't really, I don't know if I should cry or just, I'm keeping this stone face right now. Just, yeah. Do you know the word uh, winner in Estonia? Vaitja. Huh? Vaitja? Vaitja. Of course. <laughs> I've been watching like the Eurovision like since ever, like since, not since that, but in back in Sweden it's really big as well. Mm -hmm. So of course it's a like it's crazy big opportunity and it's well, what is it, 200 million viewers? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be amazing. Congratulations again. Thank you. And uh, so. Make us proud uh, in May in Tel Aviv. I certainly will. I will give it my best. Yeah. 145%. I did 130 tonight. I'm so happy to be here in Madrid. It's my first time, but I have to say you guys are amazing. I've been taken care of so much, and let's dance and sing and party. Victor, what has happened? Uh, since uh, since you won, yeah. Uh, well, it's been kind of crazy. I've been fortunate enough to travel the world, like uh, to Tel Aviv and to Spain and uh, London. 
London and having like the Eurovision have this all that I didn't know of you probably know about it but uh, all these kind of pre-parties where mm -hmm. like Eurovision fans from every country are coming just to like yeah have a fun night a party night but uh, did they know your song then? oh yeah it's crazy everyone in the whole arena was but it's not like I'm just gonna not gonna take the credit because they were knowing the lyrics to every song, to every <laughs> artist. They are so uh, like hardcore fans. But uh, I, I think I never experienced like uh, that kind of feedback. Let's break the roof doing this, all right? So let's do it. A storm like this can break. We'll be safe and sound. The first goal is to make it to the final, of course, but uh, I wouldn't be in, any, be in any competition if I didn't have the goal to win. So I guess that's the goal. Mm. Do you agree? Yeah. Are you ready? Well, I guess I, I haven't done it before, so, but uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Are you worried or are you nervous or do you feel the pressure? Well, of course, I'm very I'm humble and thankful for you guys letting me do this. So, of course, I feel that the, the one thing I want to do is to make, like, because you gave me the opportunity to do this, so I want to, I want to, yeah, make Estonia proud. Okay, Victor, <laughs> just a few words about Eurasian yeah. and Estonian and everything. Tada, good morning. Thanks for coming out. Uh, it's finally here. The day has, has become 16 days of uh, a whole lot of fun. Uh, I'm extremely confident and happy to have all of these guys with me. Amazing singers and uh, producers, directors. I think we have done all the, the good work. Now it's just to enjoy this ride and uh, take it back to Estonia, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too. I'm a golden boy, come here to enjoy. I'm the king of fun, let me show you how we do it. I'm a golden boy, come here to enjoy. And before I leave, let me show you the beat. We're in a hurry, I'm, I'm already late. First day, two minutes late. <laughs> Victor, how you felt on stage? Uh, well, it was a new experience. Uh, it's the first rehearsal, so there's some things to, to change and to work with the guys here. Uh, but uh, I'm happy to be here. I keep fighting all the times For a million reasons that I find But I might, I might be your wrong I've hit highs and I've hit lows But somewhere down the winding road It felt like I lose Well, it's kind of fun to be up there though But uh, hopefully we'll get things sorted out until Monday next rehearsal So, yeah, still keeping my faith in this How scary it is to be on stage? Uh, not that scary actually, more exciting mostly uh, it's a bit scary that not everything will be in order, like the lights and stuff, that's a bit scary. But uh, there's some good guys here telling me not to worry about it, so I'm gonna try not to. Uh, how you can memorize uh, how to move and work with cameras? Uh, well, I'm, I'm not, I think I, I learn with the, with the words that I'm seeing, like I know, but I might, I should be there, and like, so I, I, I remember that. And, I guess it's rehearsal, like, to, to keep on, like, uh, doing it, and, yeah, that's it. Soon you will be in front of 200 million viewers. Yeah. How scary it is? Well, it's, obviously, it's a bit, yeah, well, I see it more like it's going to be fun. It's like, I never, it's once in a lifetime kind of thing, so, uh, but when you say it like that, it's, my stomach it's turns a bit, but, well, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. After that, 
I understand you felt much better. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would lie I, if I said that I've been really calm this whole week. Uh, the first hours was really made me nervous. So last morning really was a huge relief for me too, really, that we, we got to do the overlay, the, the pre-film thing again. So I'm feeling really good now and going to enjoy the orange, orange carpet in a, in a few hours. But this year, he's singing for... Welcome Estonia! Estonia won the contest for the first and only time in 2001. Victor is spending his days now in Estonia and he tries to learn a new word in Estonian every single day. Hello, Victor. Hi, how are you? How are you? Uh, please stand with your face to the camera. It's important, we didn't rehearse that. <laughs> Between us, it's okay. I want, okay, thank you. Two microphones, look at that. Yeah. How do you Which feel? One? I feel very good. Like uh, I, I said to the guys in the car, uh, butterflies, but there's good ones. It's amazing. <laughs> So you're, you're, you're picking Estonian language, one word a, a day. Yeah. What about Hebrew? Uh, well, that's uh, I know Toda Shalom. Maybe you can learn me a new one today. Toda Shalom. Yeah. Oh, that's a hard one, but let's try again. Behatzlacha. Behatzchala. It's, it's a good enough. They're laughing yeah. here, so that's not good at all. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. That's, that's a good luck. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> so have good luck and take us by storm. I will. I will. See you on Tuesday, guys. Yay. Yeah. Victor. Thank you, Estonia. Victor, how do you feel here in red carpet? I feel good. Orange carpet, though, maybe. <laughs> Is Eurovision like you imagined? Yeah, I would say. Well, I, I think it's a bit bigger, like uh, with all the cameras and, you know, but uh, I'm enjoying myself. This is fun. Show us your storm that dance. Oh, well, I think I have a few moves that are really strong. I think it's this one. That's the storm move, I think. But we love you, like Gabi. a storm. Oh, like this? So proud of you. Like that. Go and voice you. That's a tornado. Oh, tornado. <laughs> A storm like this can break a man like this. And when it all comes down, we'll be safe and sound. <laughs> Victor, how are you feeling? Four hours left. Is it? Yes. Oh, well, when you're saying like that, I need to bring this. <laughs> <laughs> Song Contest 2019 Big
go Whatever happens down the road However far from home I know we won't let go Even if the sky falls down We can turn it all around We'll escape the darkest clouds And we'll be safe And we'll be safe and safe The battle scars won't matter then but I might, I might be all wrong. <laughs> Thank you, you rock! The fifth lucky finalist for tonight is... Estonia! <laughs> How do you feel now? Tired? Oh, well, no. Tired? What? No. I've never been so alive in my life, I guess. <laughs> So uh, I feel good. The performance was a bit shaky, the vocals, but I think that was nerves. How was the audience? How you felt? Yeah, uh, I felt good. Like I had fun, but I, I, I noticed like when I took the tones that my vocals were off. And I was like, but I actually, yeah, it was, uh, it was crazy good. But in the finals, Esti, Marmastan Esti, in the final we give it all. We give it all. Okay. I'm very happy. Uh, I think we both are. This is Stig Rust, everyone. Do you recognize him? Yeah, good up. This is the first time I had tears going off the stage. Um, I would say this is the biggest, like all of us here, this is the biggest thing in my life. And uh, I'm looking forward for the final to give it 20% extra, vocal some point. And uh, I want to thank everyone who gave me a vote tonight. Uh, I'm very happy for this opportunity. And uh, okay. yeah, thank you. Yeah! I want to thank this dude as well. The guy who I wrote the song with, Stig Resta. Now I'm taking the opportunity to do this. Without him, I'm a Swede. Without him, I wouldn't be able to do this for Estonia. Ma armastan estit. Uh, yeah, I am. We've been working so hard for this, so uh, yeah, let's do this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Is this gonna be your best show ever? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Now it's time. We've been, yeah. It's gonna be the best one. Okay, good luck to you then. Aita, thank you, thank you.
time the storm will end And it'll be alright again The battle scars won't matter then But I might, I might be all wrong Thank you so much! One countries are waiting for our call. We have to move on to Estonia now. Estonia, the public gave you 48 points. Estonia, 48 points for the public. And Moving next on. up. 93 points, that means that... <laughs> You've been watching Eurovision since you were a small kid, and uh, I think a lot of the young guys out there are thinking the same. And uh, like, hold on to your dream. And uh, I've been here now, and uh, next time I want to be here again. Thanks to Estonia, I'm very humbled. Seriously, I'm, I'm so so thankful for you guys giving me this opportunity. It's been a hell of a ride. I've been uh, I've been really down. I've been up, and I've been. I've been everywhere during this uh, crazy experience. Um, I'm, I'm surely going to miss this, definitely. And uh, I hope the Estonians are uh, okay with the placement we got, 19. Marmast Andestit. Thank you, Aita. Thank you so much. I haven't done like the bungee jump or uh, like the parachute mm. things. Uh, I would like to do the parachutes. I can say this: if I if I win Estelam, uh, I will do parachuting. I will jump from a plane. Oh, uh, I oh. All right. So you may guess what's going to happen next. Yes. Then I have to do it. I, I actually even forgot it when you came to the studio. I like, did I really say this? But uh, you have to try new things, so here I am. Do you want to do this today, or is it a bit forced? <laughs> uh, it's a bit forced, but I think I'm going to be happy when I did it, when I've done it. So we'll see. Good this luck. might be the last interview. Is it the same adrenaline like on the Eurovision stage? I don't know. We'll see when we're standing on the right now. I'm pretty sure. Actually. Okay. Sorry. Awesome. We just jumped and it was pretty cool. We did some cool things up in the air. It was such an adrenaline kick. It's crazy. But you will stop now singing and come to us? Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you said I, I probably have a higher pitch now, so. Hola, gracias, por favor.